Hey guys, Max here, and once again, we're talking about Elon Musk today. I'm sorry, we just can't keep his name out of the news, but this time it's got something to do with Bill Gates as well, and it's probably not what you're expecting. We've seen some leaked texts from the two billionaires, and they're not on good terms by all accounts. There also seems to be a huge amount of hypocrisy at play on behalf of Bill Gates, of course, as well. We will discuss all of that, explain exactly what is going on, and then give my thoughts on the whole saga as usual. So where does this story start? Well, a couple of days ago, a randomly or seemingly random Twitter account posted a set of texts and no one was really sure if they were true or not, if they were legitimate, but they were supposedly leaked by Elon Musk and they were between him and Bill Gates talking about a few different things. So what actually did those leaked texts say? Well, Elon asks Bill Gates, do you still have a half a billion dollar short position against Tesla? Gates then replies saying, sorry to say I haven't closed it out. I would like to discuss philanthropy possibilities. Elon retorts, sorry, but I can't take your philanthropy on climate change seriously. When you have a massive short position against Tesla, the company doing the most to solve climate change. Now, in reality, no one really thought a whole lot of these pictures at first because the chances were they were probably fake, right? But someone tweeted at Elon. They linked him in this Twitter thread and they asked him if it was real and he had this to say. Yes, it's real, but I didn't leak it to the New York Times. They must have got it through friends of friends. I heard from multiple people at TED that Gates had half a billion dollar short position against Tesla, which is why I asked him. So it's not exactly top secret. We then got a meme from Elon mocking Gates, and yeah, it is actually a little bit funny. Then finally, Elon posted this. Now, Elon has apparently been shadow banned on Twitter now. Basically, the way we know this is some websites can check for you whether or not Twitter is hiding your tweets or trying to make them harder to find or something like that. And for Elon, what we have is something called a ghost ban. Now, what exactly does it mean? Well, it makes it harder to search for accounts. His account, even if you search for Elon Musk, might not come up straight away they might show other accounts first twitter are also trying to stop elon's threads from working well twitter will hide replies to your tweets and make it difficult for threads to flow properly so it can be difficult for people to find everything that elon might have to say now all of this will just look normal to the person who is ghost banned in this case elon musk but to everyone else elon's reach is diminished and it can vary in severity and elon's to be honest doesn't seem to be too bad but that may be just the nature of the fact that elon Elon has tens of millions of followers and everything he tweets people retweet and like anyway so it does get seen eventually. It is a little bit ridiculous that Twitter is trying to limit his reach though and ghost ban him at all. Now why is there a whole load of hype about this? Well really it's because Gates hit up Elon for some philanthropy opportunities but Elon shut him down pretty much instantly all because of this Tesla short. Now really what this screams of is gross hypocrisy by once again a billionaire who wants Wants us to change our ways but isn't willing to actually do the good that the climate needs himself. Gates goes all around the world talking about climate change. He tweets about it constantly. He claims to be one of the good ones, one of the people trying to help and improve the state of the world and claiming that he wanted to do that sort of stuff with Elon. I do think it's quite clear though that he isn't a good person. He doesn't actually care about climate change or he wouldn't be shorting Tesla in this instant. Now to be perfectly fair, Tesla isn't perfect when it comes to climate change or polluting batteries that are used in Tesla vehicles you know they're heavy as well they're hundreds of kilos each they do pollute they are very energy intensive to create and that energy mostly comes from fossil fuels still the EVs themselves still pollute in other ways too they use a lot of plastics which come from again fossil fuels energy is used very intensive energy processes is used to create these cars and lots of the physical electricity that is used to drive these electric vehicles still comes from fossil fuels too so Teslas are by no means perfect but they are without a doubt better and on a better path than internal combustion engines. There is pretty much no question about it, but EVs in the future will continue to get more and more environmentally friendly as we start to drive electricity generation from renewable energies like offshore wind or solar or nuclear, as opposed to fossil fuels. EVs will scale with that and get more and more environmentally friendly. Internal combustion engines though will never really get to that point because they will always be putting out gases that come from the combustion of oils. 
Now, Tesla is, of course, the reason for the EV market being so developed today. They are the biggest manufacturer. They are worth a trillion dollars right now, I believe, and obviously they fluctuate a lot. But the fact that they are worth so much and that they can make so much profit with such high margins has driven hundreds of other car makers to move into that same industry and try and compete with them. And that means that the EV market is incredibly developed compared to where it would be if Tesla had never existed. Simply put, without Elon or Tesla, EVs would be a fraction of what they are today and the world, the climate, would without a doubt be worse off right now and on into the future too. Should we really be rooting for the downfall of the company then? No, of course we shouldn't. Now Gates is though, he is shorting against the company and it's not a small position either. Again, he claims that he's good, he talks constantly about climate change and zero carbon emissions and fossil fuels, tweeting things out like this. We can't reach carbon emissions without innovation. In this new series, you'll meet some people who are on the cutting edge of clean energy. Is Tesla not innovative? Is Elon not helping to move the world towards lesser carbon emissions in the future by cutting out internal combustion engine vehicles? Well, I think he is. Another one from Gates is here. One of the best parts of my job is learning from innovators and entrepreneurs taking on some of the world's greatest challenges. They make me optimistic about the world's ability to get to net zero carbon emissions. Again, is Elon not an entrepreneur, probably the most high profile, most successful entrepreneur in the world, taking on some of the world's greatest challenges and succeeding more than anyone else either. This is just hypocrisy at its finest. Gates doesn't actually care about the climate like he says. This is typical ESG investing that we see with banks all across the world. Now let's be perfectly clear, Gates never had to take out a short position in Tesla in the first place and he could now end his short position right now, take a hit because he probably took it out while it was worth less than a thousand dollars compared to where it is today and that's trading. You take a hit, sometimes you make money, sometimes you lose money. He can move on and do good with his productive capital. The problem is that he has so much money in this play. $500 million is a huge amount when it comes to investing in the future. He could be productive with that money, but shorting a stock doesn't produce anything. It does not actually create anything. It doesn't cause any innovation. It doesn't drive or build anything. A $500 million short position would be hugely influential in these new industries. SpaceX was started with $100 million from Elon. Elon. Tesla was started with $15 million. Gates 100% deserves this flack in my opinion. Maybe not for the fat jokes. He is like almost 70. Lots of people his age put on weight. They get less active, things like that. But he's also probably got world-class chefs making every meal for him. So I'd probably get fat too if I were that rich. As for Elon on Twitter, he is shedding light on reality in the world. The people, especially celebrities and billionaires, claim that they're all for climate change and trying to help change it and stop climate change. Sorry, not for climate change but then they fly around on their private jets they sail their mega yachts across the world polluting more than any other person in the world does or has any reasonable right to and bill gates is no different in that space elon's also of course pushing for free speech regarding twitter and i really do hope he buys it out and we can just wait and see what happens he shouldn't really be shadow banned at all and i hate to say it but that does seem like it might be some kind of targeted thing because of the hostile takeover of twitter he's trying to do as always Twitter is still an awfully run company. A funny thing that's been brought up recently is that years ago, Twitter bought Vine, which was at the time a thriving short form video social media platform. Twitter absolutely destroyed it. They lost all of their users, they couldn't generate any money from it, and they shut it down after losing all of their money. Five years later, and TikTok is now the fastest growing, most successful social media company around right now. It is absolutely huge. It will be worth a trillion dollars soon enough. It is a huge success, but it's literally just a modernized, streamlined version of Vine. Twitter killed Vine. Twitter's board destroyed a potential trillion dollar business. And yet still, there are some people out there who think that there's a business case for Elon not buying the company, leaving it in the control of these awful board members who don't know what they're doing. Those people are, of course, just wrong though, or in reality, they're just happy to see Twitter stagnate as a business if it means that censorship of a certain political niche is continued on that platform. Elon is 100% the right guy to buy that company out and to put it on the right track. Now, as for Gates, he isn't a normal person, and I know in the past a lot I've made a point of saying that it doesn't really matter if normal people short Tesla because it's developed past that point but 500 million dollars is not a small position and so I do think it's fair to get annoyed at Gates for that short position as it has a real impact on Tesla. 
Now, for normal people like you and me, if we were to decide tomorrow to short Tesla stock, it really wouldn't make any difference to the company. Tesla is not the same company it used to be. It's not the same as it was five years ago, where it was constantly on the threat of bankruptcy, unprofitable, and needing to raise cash constantly just to maintain operations. It used to be that, but it isn't anymore. It's cash flow positive. It has billions of dollars in the bank. Normal people like you and I, shorting Tesla has no impact on the company, whereas it used to. So there's a lot of animosity around people who short Tesla. For Gates though, as I said, a half a billion dollar position, it's unproductive capital, it should be put into real innovation, like Gates claims that he's all about supporting, but in reality, he isn't. So we can lose the tribalism when it comes to normal everyday people and their positions on Tesla, but I do understand the anger and the criticism going towards Gates for this one. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to bless the YouTube algorithm. If you want more content like this, then check out our Patreon and join our community of investors you get access to our discord loads of exclusive content like insight into my portfolio and buy and sell alerts for all my own investments there's a link in the description to masterworks.io a site that can help you protect your portfolio against inflation through fractional shares of art from world famous artists like banksy art has historically proven to be uncorrelated to the markets so it's a really valuable resource with the markets on the brink it's completely free to sign up so make sure to check it out there's also a link in the description to BlockFi, which will give you up to $250 in free Bitcoin when you use it. You can also get over 7% interest on stable coins to protect your hard-earned cash from being eaten away by inflation. Thanks for watching. Stay stoic. Until next time.